that's amazing. I mean, that makes absolutely everything we do so much more worthwhile. This is this is what I love to do either way, but to have that sort of impact on somebody's life and you know, I, I also have I have people come up to me very you know, very young kids come up to me and say that they were so deeply involved in drugs until they discovered our band and kind of look more into um, some of our philosophies and now they're totally clean and they said that their lives are completely different and completely better as a result of it and, and thanked me for that and to you know to make that kind of change in someone's life I mean that can never I can never grow numb to that you know how could you, you know? I also have another quote here from Revolver magazine and this is a quote of yours and it says the state of modern music is horrible people are going backwards trying to create music that's already been done several times or they're doing hybrid music taking two genres that sound great alone but horrible together now are there any bands out there who are doing it right in your opinion yeah in fact since since I made that statement I I've actually um, <clears throat> I've actually been listening to the, the radio f far more than I have then um, since I started playing our song, I keep the radio on at all times in, in order to hear it because it excites me every time, no matter what, no matter how many times I hear it. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's really gotten a lot better now. In fact, I know it has because you could turn on the radio and you can hear Fisher Spinner and you could hear Interpol and you could hear Queens of the Stone Age. Um, and those are those are great bands. They're all like authentic, real wonderful bands and it's really nice to have that sort of um, refreshing change and I and I think that change continues you know you can hear Sparta on the radio every once in a while and it's it's, it's Jimmy Eat World it's it's uh it's getting a lot better it's nice the uh, radio and MTV is letting these bands filter in like you know Interpol or like the Queens of the Stone Age like real rock bands or bands that actually you know are bucking the trend and I think that's a sign that things are about to change. We're about to see a paradigm shift, kind of like when Nirvana came in and changed everything. And I think everybody kind of wants that. Kids just don't really know yet, I think, that, but they're like, they're getting tired of everything they're hearing and everything they're being forced to listen to. And I think that uh, hopefully we can be part of that. It'd be nice to be part of it, you know? Maybe an agent of change. And speaking of great albums, I want to mention the Transplants album. You do guest vocals on that. Now, how'd you get involved with that? Because that's an amazing album. Well, I've, we've been friends with Rob and and Tim for years. Actually, I mean, the Transplants was was began as just Rob and Tim together. Um, it was really it was really Rob's project, and I did vocals on that record years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, that record has been in the works for a long time, and uh, you know, I. We, we love those guys. Rob, Rob used to tour with us. We tour with Rancid. You know, we, we really, all of us, all of us really kind of, um, you know, have been in the same family for years. So when Rob recorded the, the Quick Death song and it had kind of a, kind of a ministry feel to it, kind of a little KMFDM, a little Slayer involved, he said, this is a song I want you to sing on. So he and I, Collaborated on the words and the um, and the uh, structure with Tim, and it just came together. At least now, what children's story could be best transformed into a horror story? I, the, you said children's story, and I immediately started thinking of uh, of the children's stories that I've been reading lately, which are called a series of unfortunate events. A series of unfortunate events. Are you familiar with those? Uh, by Lemony Snicket. Um, those would easily be transformed into a horror story because they're written in, in that vein. N nothing positive ever happens. It starts miserably and it ends miserably. And it's, I think it's really tailored towards adults more than it is children. They're really wonderful children's stories, so check those out. But um, those would, um, any of the, uh, all the Grimm's fairy tales. Yeah, the Grimm's yeah. fairy tales are really, when you, when you look at it, they're, they're really dark and everything that happens is kind of depressing and there's a lot of death and a... Uh, and it's kind of macabre. Yeah. You know, any, any, I mean, the original Cinderella with the blood and the shoes, and um, you know, I was just thinking of some of the old fairy tales the other day. I was thinking of Jack and Jill, and I saw it, and, and I recited the the whole. Uh, what was? I, I call it fairy tale. It's not a fairy tale. It's a it's a nursery rhyme. Those are dark too. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down his br and broke his crown, and Jill came, came tumbling well, after. Because when those were written, a lot of those were meant to be these kind of uh, these parables, like these kind of warnings to children. And so they always had kind of a macabre twist at the end. So yeah, those are good. Yeah, I haven't read Grimm's fairy tales for a long time. I 
I just want to know if uh, there's anything you want to say to your fans out there in, uh, on the web. Yeah. Um, we'd really like to thank all of you who have been with us for this long and who you know truly understand and, and appreciate what you're doing, what we're doing. Um, I always say this is really true. Your loyalty and dedication really doesn't go unnoticed, and we really appreciate it. And we hope you continue to be with us from here on. Get off the internet. Read a book. <laughs>